Good evening, New Zealand. We have received a grim update. Our worst fears have been confirmed. Sean Johnson is going to be out <laughs> of the game against the Penrith Panthers. Uh, Warriors are not on his back. We were supposed to be bringing you the expense account tonight, uh, but of course, uh, we're going to be bringing you in depth news about the terrible news that um, has broken out today, and that, that uh, Sean Johnson will not be uh, lacing up a boot. Um, for uh, Saturday night, we've got Moneta Sos, Isaac Sos, and Daniel Fadakura. My name is Jared Cronin. Daniel, I understand you tore a calf nine years ago, and it's, um, it's still struggling to recover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't know which one it is because they're both torn. But um, <laughs> yeah, worst fears. Um, look, I don't want to sound like that guy, but I think I think it. it during the stage of the season, I kind of just see a year on a great run, but you know, we're a, this run will continue so long as SJ continues. So, um, looking on the bright side, this chat there could it was 50 50, so it could have been chance, but I guess, well, actually, the pot, I'm going to take I'm going to turn it around, I'm going to take a positive spin. <laughs> we're going to give him two weeks' rest, we're going to yes. win this weekend. Yes, we're going to win this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks rest. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I got. Yeah, three weeks rest would be. I mean, for a garden variety calf issue, uh, as I think a few of us are uh, familiar with. Um, Moneta, I can see the pain all over your face, bro. How are you reacting to what's been happening today? Oh, like you know, I was already getting goosebumps. You know, from, from the beginning, getting a little anxiety and the build up, and then you see like the rumors. I'm like, ah, science fucking bullshitting again. Here we go. <laughs> and then, anonymous member. Yeah. <laughs> Not oh, yeah. a Warriors anonymous member. Because I'll, I'll, you know, as soon as anonymous you know, post came out, <laughs> it's become a dark day. Um, so I thought, ah, here we go. And then slowly over the duration of the day, it became true. And now I'm in disbelief that, it, you know, one of the biggest games, uh, you know, for the Warriors has been jeopardised. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what to think. Yeah, I guess. Mm. I don't know. Can I just say one thing quickly? Public service announcement: Anytime there's an anonymous post relating to Warriors, and it's normally shit news or bad shit, it's got nothing to do with Warriors Anonymous. <laughs> it's just that they chose to be anonymous on that post yes, as well. That's so it. Please, please, Farno, don't link it. No, don't link right. it. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> We like to just try and weigh it up a little bit and, and get some sort of, you know, credible sources. Um, which I was able to do actually uh, this morning, which was weird. <laughs> got a, in, the uh, know, brother, in the know. Yeah, yeah. Got a, got a good uh, a good tip from uh, in-house. So I was like, sweet. All right. Well, I mean, not sweet because obviously it was dreadful. <laughs> right. Really, Jared, um, at a time like this. <laughs> Boosting your that. networks. Come on. I'll see myself out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like uh, Isaac, you're probably the perfect person to ask this question, uh, and that is just straight out, right? Up and down, are we a chance against Penrith at all without Sean? Give uh, a probab probability yeah. um, from the, did, did, did. the original naysayer. Um, I give us a, <laughs> I give us a ten to fifteen percent chance of winning this game. Ooh. What did we get before? A, so it's just account? like it's just like uh, you know, dumb and dumber. The one in a million chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, they're just gonna have to play out of their skins. And name of the game is defense. Mm. Defense. defense. Is yep. Yep. We the might not be able to score as many points, but mm. we've got to stop them from scoring more yeah. points than us. So yes. it just just comes down to defense. That is it. So everyone's going to have to play it like it's their last game. Yeah. Daniel yeah. just mentioned a good question there. Um, what was your uh, probability win rate uh, or percentage uh, before this news? Honestly, I reckon it was about 50-50. Right. I, I really do. I was on yeah. just right down the middle. Like It depends on how, which team starts the best, and, and that's probably the barometer of who's going to win the game. Mm. still mm. remains that way, but... There'll be every opportunity for Penrith to call back just because it's going to come down to game control and whether whoever plays in that seven role has got the, the cool, calm, collective ability to control that game if we get into the position to sort of keep, keep a lead. Mm. Um, 
Isaac just touched on what we need to do to win. Uh, Daniel, who do we do it with? Who is going to be the person to slot in uh, to the seven jersey or at least the seven position? Uh, what are we? What are we looking at? Well, um, <laughs> I was led to believe that um, currently they could choose within the squad that has been named, um, as pointed out by a member, and um, that would that would mean that only Tamari Martin and Dylan Walker are the notable halves. So Tamari would go to, to seven. Um, Ronald Volkman is obviously named in the cup side. So my understanding is he would re- they would require NRL dispensation to be able to remove him from the cup squad and bring him into the first grade team. So you would like to think if that was their intention and they would want to do that, then they could do that because, mm. you know, as Peter Volandi says, it's for the fans. <laughs> so we could play that card. Um, so, yeah, I guess it's debate who goes there, what the combination is. For mine, and I just wanted to say the word for mine, because I don't know what the fuck it actually means, but it's an Australian term. They always say for mine. <laughs> um, I I go Ronald Volkman, and purely because we need a kicker. Mm. We need a kicking game, and we don't, without SJ there, without Ronald there, we don't have anyone to to kick us at fifth tackle yep. at all, really, with, with any credible skill. So yep. I think that has to be where... The decisions made. Yeah, sure. Um, I actually I did uh, get a message from Greg Spence about this, um, yes. and about have, not having Volkman in the the top squad. Uh, he mentioned that the Panthers started a guy in round twenty four wearing a number twenty six jersey because he got roped in at the last minute. So uh, there is apparently a possibility, yes. a chance that um, that we could do that. So. Um, Moneta, if if we can bring in Ronnie to just do a straight swap, do we do that? Oh, <laughs> oh I don't know. You're still <laughs> I don't know. Um, if you're judging off, like I was saying to uh, Daniel before this podcast, that you're kind of judging off how you played on the last game against Dolphins. You would say he's not quite up to par, if I'm being brutally honest. But you kind of want to keep Dylan Walker in that position of like impact mm. off the bench. So Bolton might be the best option, but Walker could fit into number six. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm in a bit of disbelief and I'm not quite sure what to think about it at the moment. But yeah. I think Bolton is probably, yeah, the way to go. Um, and I think Danny made a good point around the kicking game. We don't have anyone who's really a notable kicker, and so Volkman can. He's got a decent boot on him, mate. Eh? Does he? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Like, I'm just worried about what. Yeah, like some of the showing in the first game, it just hasn't quite convinced me yet. But hopefully, yeah. we'll see what happens. Have you um Have you been at home all day in your dressing gown, eating ice cream and crying, bro? Or... <laughs> <laughs> Kind I'm, of. I'm seeing it. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing in my mind. I'm like, oh man, you're doing it tough. Um, Isaac, uh, have you got any uh, any sort of magic sort of formulas, kind of something different we might try in this crisis that we've got? Nope. <laughs> Not at all. No magic could formula. They, could they go down like unwell? Like, is there like a rule if you had like gastro or COVID? COVID. Oh, he's got COVID. Yeah, we could, couldn't play him. We all got COVID. Yeah. Just, just like quarantine them. Is that, is that still a thing? No. I don't think so these days. Look, I think what's going to happen is surely to Dan's point about the kicking game, because let's face it, our year and attack has been, well, just possession, possessional play has been centered around a good kicking game. So Volkman has to come in because I don't trust him, Mario Martin's boot. And Walker's not a kicker. So you've got to have Volkman in there. And mm. it's kind of uh, ironic that after the poor showing that we had from Volkman last week, it might have been a bit of a blessing in disguise because he got a game in the first grade and now he knows what he's in for. The, the biggest thing I could see happening out of this is Andrew Webster will be in Volkman's ears if, if he is playing. He'll be in his ear the whole time geeing him up 
and building him up to make him feel like he belongs there. And he's mm. basically going to put it on his shoulders and say, hey, look, you are the man now. SJ's not here anymore. We don't care. It's, it's on you, mate, and you can do it. If, if, oh. if there's anything that we've learned about Webster is he's great with his players and he's going to know the right things to say at the right time to make Volkman feel as comfortable as he can. Because like, he's been tearing it up in the New South Wales Cup. I know it's a different grade, but he's been dominant and there's mm. no reason why he can't step up to the plate now. So all we've got to do is just back him and hope that Webster is the right guy to get the best out of him in probably the biggest game of his life. Mm. Can we just go back to his game? He played the game against the Bulldogs as well. I know that was, you know, a few rounds back, but uh, they had a better side that night. You know, we did, so better four-pack. We obviously dominated in, in the middle, uh, and he went well. Yeah. You know, he went really well, the young yep. fella. So, um, yeah, just it, it's the it's the easy swap, eh? You know, like, and I think that's always been the case. And we've said this, you know, if SJ goes down, you know, Volkman is the only – half back that we really you know really have to replace him and it is a gap you know there is a gap I mean uh, Shawnee hands down has been the most consistent best player in the competition the most influential player to a team in the, out of any other teams mm. you know yeah there's great players everywhere and the Origin Stars as well but what Shawnee's done for the Warriors oh. this year without Shawnee we don't we finish eight maybe you know yeah. I think that, so that's yeah, it's a big gap and it's a massive loss, but uh, got to back the brother. Yeah, bulky, mm. got to back him in. And yeah. we talked about as well, like throughout this week, about the master and the apprentice. I mean, Volkman is the almost the sort of heir apparent to SJ when he takes a step aside, you know, and he's the apprentice. He's like yeah. baby Yoda. He's, he's the baby Yoda of the team. <laughs> Everyone loves baby Yoda. <laughs> baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. So, you know, I, you know talking on that point about Andrew Webster, I'm sure SJ will be gutted he's not playing, but he'll be doing everything he can to make sure that Volkman is in the right frame of mind and has got the confidence to play well. Mm. Do you think, um, Buddha, that uh, the fact that Sean will be out could potentially create a bit of uncertainty on the Panthers' side defensively because they would be basically planning to you know, nullify him by having... Volkman come in and be slightly different kind of player. Does that change things from what they're looking at? Uh, I guess slightly, but I think Volkman is modelling his game on SJ's game management, right? So, in theory, that's the way. You know, we talked about this early in the season. There's the people calling it the depth chart, right? Every position had top player, second player, third player. And I think they just fit into a system. So in, in essence, Volkman, what he's been doing at Cup is kind of effectively what SJ has been doing, right? So anything for the Panthers defensively, it's probably a bit, obviously we think it's going to be a bit easier because there's less, um, just less that kind of in-game nous that, that um, Shawnee has. Um, but I think the big issue, obviously, we all know, is the defensive side. Like, mm. um, Sean, he's been a wall this year. Uh, Tamari had a, you know, a, a mixed game, but we know he, when push comes to shove, his defense is pretty strong. So the argument is, and we're not, we don't know who's starting where, the argument is if you do bring uh, Walker into the, into the sixth jersey, you're shoring up that defensive line. So, yeah. you know, um, and we kind of said, like, you know, the issue maybe we might not score enough points, but I think defensively, if they go Walker, we'll be we'll be stronger in the defence side. Yeah, okay, fair. Um, Moneta, if we do put Walker into the number six jersey, say, um, does that really disrupt a lot of how we play as a team? Uh, you know, a team that knows knows its game. Uh, all of a sudden, we don't quite know our game as as well if we don't have Walker off the bench. I'm trying to be positive, but I'm also trying to be realistic here. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like, is this 2021? One man struggle. <laughs> no, I, I mean, like, I, I think an example, right? You know, when CNK was missing from the back line, the spine, it looked a bit disjointed in regards to our attack and how we were kind of like, you know, with mm. our back plays and, and skips. Um, you know, without having Johnson there orchestrate it, I think we won't be as, you know, smooth as we would be. 
I mean, I think we could we'll probably still execute them, execute players, but um, I don't execute think we. Yeah. <laughs> That's extreme. <laughs> execute. I mean, execute. Them them out. I just think, um, yeah, uh, it's going to be tough. I think I don't think we'll be a smooth. Um, I think, and from just the time that we didn't have CNK in the spine and, and stuff like that, but who's to say? I mean, we'll just have to wait till Saturday. <laughs> Isaac, the, there were shots of the team coming in um, on the private jet flying over this afternoon into Sydney. Uh, how do you think that the wider squad is feeling knowing that Sean won't be alongside them on Saturday? Mm, I think that obviously they're going to be gutted. Um, more so probably for him than themselves because they're just that kind of team. Um, but I still feel like they're, they're going to... They're going to think they have a job to do and they know what to do. Um, there's always the chance that this is going to happen, whether it happened this week or maybe SJ gets injured two weeks ago and it was a long injury. These things are going to happen. This is the nature of the game. Mm. Um, they would have prepared for it. You know, it's, who can't be gutted? I mean, the fans, they'll probably be just as gutted as the fans are, if not more, but they'll be prepared to get behind whoever puts on that number seven jersey. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be... Yeah, after the season that we've had, this is not the way you'd want to go. You know what I mean? This kind of feels like when, in a change of code, when Dan Carter went down in the 211 World Cup. 100%. I mean, yep. this feels like that. It's like, oh, all, yeah. all hope was lost, right? Yeah, yep. Far out, which is um, surprising because I think there's some injuries in the All Blacks' first game against France and no one gives a shit. <laughs> but, hey, so, yeah, so, it really does feel like that. Ronnie Volkman's uh, weight beating in the uh, New South Wales Cup and getting the call up. Bro, can you come uh, come over here and play for us? I guess at least they're oh. in the same um, city as well. So that that Is kind of weight beating a euphemism for something. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Kids of today. Check hey, it out on, just, check it on Urban Dictionary. <laughs> if you're going to reference back to rugby, what about, was it the 2008 World Cup, whatever, when? You know, in Piri we trust. You know, he stepped mm. up. And then who who else steps up? The yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, so yeah. do that. Yeah. Um, you know, lots of people stepped up to win us that World hey. Cup. Yeah, so that that's a something... euphemism for something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I've just yeah. lost it. I've just lost sanity. Like You're I'm... all out of faith. <laughs> I'm all out of that's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Well, I hope they, uh, hope they go and at least give it a real good crack. Any anything else to add, boys, before we jump out of here? I just need this. I just need this night or day time, just twenty four hours to mourn the the passing of his playing opportunity. For this um, week. And for this week. Yeah. Hey, you never know. Webster could be on Saturday morning. Psych. Just playing with you. And hopefully they're coming. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Like, oh. Like Webster could yeah. be on Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Play a coach. Maybe, maybe yeah. he's got, got someone on for 24 hours straight with the magic spray on SJ's calf. Just. Mm. Oh, mm. man. They've got that. They've got horse placenta up in there. Fucking. Even Tana, remember Tana Umanga put a fried egg on his leg trying to play a World right. Cup. You yeah. Know? If that the would work, egg. you'd put it on there. Yeah. Duck or chicken? Yeah. Can you do like calf like um, transplants or is that a thing? It's not Beverly Hills, mate. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's got massive calves, eh? He's got like do, 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 do. one massive calf and then like a normal calf. And then he's like, hold on, I haven't had enough. Let me do my lips. <laughs> Well. Why is he running in circles? <laughs> yeah. Has he got action pass as well? Uh, I like where this ended up. Nah. Right, boys. Uh, this has been kind of weirdly fun uh, on a pretty dark day. So um, let's uh, let's keep it up. Let's keep the spirits up. Uh, we'll regroup, come back tomorrow with uh, the actual expense account tomorrow. Um, <laughs> and also uh, whatever late breaking news. Hopefully no more like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just go. so gutted. Yeah, that's sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I feel it, bro. Everyone feels it too. So um, we'll, we'll catch you guys uh, tomorrow, uh, right here on Warriors Anonymous. Thanks for joining us on behalf of Money to Sauce, Isaac Sauce, and Daniel Fatakura, who just thrown his hat. My name is Jerry Cronin. We will see you in a little bit. Up the wires, baby. Up the wires.